Hello and welcome back to the Excel Tip videos. Today in this lesson, we will show you how to use a large function in Excel. The Microsoft Excel large function returns the kth largest value from an array or set of data. Let's see how large function works in Excel with the help of examples. Here we have a sample data set from A8 to G12 and we'll enter the large function here in cell A14 first. So we type large function here, then we hit tab to auto complete the function. As you can see here, large function takes two arguments. The first argument is array from which you want to select the kth largest value and the second is k which is the position in the array from largest to return. So we select a8 to a12 as an array in the first argument and now we say function to return the first largest value in the given range. So we enter one as the kth value in the second argument and then we close the parenthesis and hit enter. Function gives us 8 as the answer because 8 is the largest value in this range. In the next example, we have a range that contains time value and we want the function to return the second largest value from it. So we type large function here in cell B14 and then we select B8 to B12 and then we enter 2 in the second argument and we hit enter. Function returns 30 minutes 4 seconds which is the second largest value in this range. Ok, now we will see what happens if there is a cell with text in the array. So we enter large function here in cell C14 and then we select C8 to C12 where C11 has some text in it. In the second argument we ask function to give us the first largest value and then we hit enter. It still gives and returns the first largest value from the array. That's because large function ignores text in the array or the provided data range and considers cells which contains number value only. And in this case, 9 is the largest value in this range. Now we type large function in cell D14 and we take D8 to D12 as an array. But you must have noticed that there is an empty cell in the given array which is D11. So let's complete the function by entering 1 in the second argument then we hit enter. But the function still returns the actual largest value which is 6 in this case. That's because large function ignores empty cells as well. In the next example, we'll see what happens if we enter kth value 0 or larger than the number of data points in array. So we type large function here in cell E14 and then we select E8 to E12 range and we enter 0 as the kth number and then we hit enter. The moment we hit enter, function returns the number error. It is because the kth value cannot be less than or equal to 0. And when we enter the kth value greater than the number of data points in array, say we enter 8 here, then also the function would return an error here. Now we jump on F14 and we type large function here and we select F8 to F12 data range which is an empty in this case. After that we type 1 as kth value and then we hit enter. It gives us number error again because both arguments are must and cannot be empty which is why function return an error here. But if there is an error value in the array or the data set which we will take in the first argument then also the function would return an error. So we type large function here in cell G14 and we take G8 to G12 as array in the first argument where G10 has any error and we ask function to return the first largest value from the array. So we hit enter. Function returns the any error which is there in cell G10. So the function would return an error if there is an error value anywhere in your data set or array. Well, this is how large function works and we can make use of it in different situations. We hope you found this lesson informative. Stay tuned and keep learning with us. Thank you and have a nice day.